Hey y'all, this is Jocasta Lester. In this video, I want to talk to you about how a spirit makes you appear and what they are to you if they make you appear, appear a particular way. Let's say you talk, you speak quite well, and then a spirit shows up and it makes you feel like you're stumbling over your own words. Well, that spirit is highly adversarial to you. And are you a Christian? Well, then that spirit that tries to run you over is anti-Christian to you. <laughs> Um, let's say you talk back to these spirits and you start to look crazy. <laughs> you interact and it just, they just make you look crazy or something like something's wrong with you. Well, I'm telling you when these spirits bring that way to you, they are not your allies. And I'm telling you the ones that jump in your body, they tend to, when it, when it gets to that body situation, should you have experienced this? Most of you probably haven't, <laughs> but, um, if you've gone through an ordeal, where you've heard voices. Have you heard voices? Well, then something was interacting with you spiritually. <laughs> if you've heard voices at least, or if you've, um, if you've, let's see, there are different spiritual experiences that only you understand um, as you've experienced them, not me. But with that said, um, when you have tried to have an exchange with these spirits, right? I'm telling you, in exchange with these spirits, if it works out such that you look crazy or you look like you're not of a sound mind, well, I'm telling you, those particular spirits are adversarial to you. They make you look crazy, literally. There are spirits that when you rebut them spiritually, aloud, you look like a babbling loon. <laughs> so, repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. Ah, and another thing, if they introduce the necessity to explain yourself for appearing crazy. <laughs> in other words, let's say that you're under a spiritual attack and you handle it your way. And then all of a sudden these encrouchers show up. They take your space from you. And now you have to behave differently than you ordinarily would in your own space. <laughs> and if you don't behave that way, you feel like you're, you're, you feel funny. I'm telling you, sometimes these spirits that, that encrouch on you, they make you feel that way too. In other words, sometimes there's company that you simply can't keep. Got it? So repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. I say all of that to say this. There are spirits out there that interact with people. And I'm telling you, sometimes they try to force interactions that you don't want. And there are sometimes people that are these spirits that you don't want to interact with. They bring hardships into your life that you would otherwise not face had they never interacted with you. So repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. And thank you for watching. Take care.